you don't want to use your employees as a counselor. You don't want to right. share them every struggle that, that you have. And it's not really a matter of, I, I don't think it's a matter of you showing weakness. I think mm -hmm. a lot of people, well, I can't admit that I'm struggling too because it would show me to be weak. No, in fact, I think that shows you to be strong. That's mm -hmm. not the, the, the point here of, of the balance is not that, but I think you don't want to, to project your problems onto them. They have enough right. problems, but you want them to know that you that you're uncertain too. And that the fear they have, you wrestle with that too. Best way to talk about that though, is to talk about how you're wrestling with the fear. Don't don't spend 20 minutes talking about how afraid I am and, and all the positive things that could go wrong. You could, but the value of that is to, is to talk about, hey, look, I'm afraid too. And let, let me share with you how I am processing my fear, how I'm thinking about it. It turns out that in the history of human mankind, in, in, in the history of mankind, Worry has never solved a single problem. So I choose not to worry about it. I think about mm -hmm. it. It's important to know what bad things can happen because you need to know where your risks are because you need to go build a plan. Action cures fear. I wish I'd said that. I didn't. I've heard other people say it, so I don't know who the <laughs> author is, but it's true. So the way I deal with my fear is I say, okay, what are the things that can go wrong? All right, quickly move on. What can I do about it? I can't control it. I might can control a few things, but I'm in control of very little. So the things I'm in control of, go tackle them. But most things I can't control, I have to influence. If you live in Florida on the coast, you can't control whether a hurricane chooses your house or not. Right. But what you can control is whether you put protection over the windows. Or you can influence whether you and your family are even there. Maybe you evacuate. Mm -hmm. You have choices good. to make. The sooner you recognize those risks, the, the faster you can make those decisions. That's the notion of being authentic, letting them see that you're going through this too, that you're not superhuman. And mm -hmm. I love humor as a way to do that. I make fun of myself all the time because it turns out I, I'm not as smart as I'd like to think I am. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And everybody knows it except me. But if I'll make fun of it, they say, oh, he knows that he's not the smartest guy in the room. I'm rarely the smartest guy in the room. In fact, that's my strategy. If I'm the smartest guy in the room, I'm in the wrong room. Right. I surrounded myself with the wrong people. The second piece of this is that I'm here for you is to say, look, I'm trying to figure this out for myself. I'm trying to solve problems for myself. I know you are too. We're in this together. You're part of my family. We work together and we have a relationship. And so if I can help you out, I want to. I don't know if I can or not, but I will try to help you out. If you are wrestling with fear and you don't want to, you know, worry your spouse about it, come talk to me about it. We'll work through it together. 